Thank you, everyone that's joining us today. I'm here with Tim Exile, the amazing Tim Exile, with his uh, new app called Endless. And the tagline is multiplayer music. If we were to jump into the app, someone just downloaded yeah. it off the app store, what? What can they do? Okay. Well, tell you what. So I'll do a I'll do a little walkthrough of exactly of everything you can do in the in the free tier, just to show you how much you can do. We'll do a live jam towards the end, but let's yeah. uh, let's just go through what we uh, the features of the app itself. Okay, cool. At the top, you'll see a link to our Kickstarter. So if you want this whole thing on desktop, then um, do head to our Kickstarter page. I'll be plugging that on and off uh, throughout the whole thing. But uh, when you get into the actual creation section, you know, outside the you know the public jams and the riff feed and so on, um, this is the this is the core where the, the you know the main stuff happens. So you've got drums. Um, we've got a bunch of drum packs in here. Uh, we've got notes, which is um, a bunch of kind of like melodic sounds. Um, mm. And you've got a bunch of bass sounds. And uh, and that's pretty it. Pretty, that's that's kind of the, you know the built-in sounds. Um, but within each of these sounds, you've then got um, uh, you've got um, parameters that you can play with in real time. So let's say. So it's just like you know your, your ADSR kind of stuff. Yeah, exactly. So and you can kind of perform um, because the these pads are, are like by default they've got live quantize on, so you can really just like hammer hammer away without um, being worried that you're going to get out of time or anything. So I can do this really kind of you know Steve Reichy stuff. And yeah. you know I'm just I'm literally just moving my hands around on the pads. But, and I'm assuming everything is in key. Um, and everything's in key, yeah. So you can kind of keep it to key. You can also disable that, so you can make it chromatic. Um, but the default position is we keep you in key, we keep you in time, just so it's easy to really play around. And you can hear mm. that um, Echolox is so now Echolox has actually dropped in a um, a beat there. There's a beat that's appeared in the background. So um, Echolox is in Germany. So that beat was mm. made in Germany and came through here live. Um, so I'll just take this same sound. This again, this is one of the free sounds built into the bass, and I've put the octave up so I can. Um, but where it gets really fun is I can take I can take that, lay that layer then and put it through all sorts of effects. So I've got, I mean, smudge is a really fun effect. For example, this is called smudge. Um, um, I mean, it's kind of extreme. It's like this weird sort of delay, morphy effect. But so I'll yeah, take it's like, so, like a pitch, like a kind of pitch bend as well. And... Yeah, it's a sort of pitch bendy, reverby delay. I mean, it's it's mm. a creative effect. You know, it's very it's very expressive. You can really kind of destroy stuff with it, or you can be subtle. Um, so now I'm using the key mashes to kind of work into that sound. And that bear in mind, this is all just from that little bass sound that I played. I'm just kind of remixing, remixing it through effects, and then re-remixing it, resampling it, and applying applying effects. I'm not dialing the effects in. I'm literally performing them, like 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 on a chaos pad or something, and then looping that right. performance. Right, right, right. And then uh, each time you're happy with what you've just done, you just press on the uh, on the waveform yeah exactly yeah so what so we spent we spent a long time i won't i won't go into like really huge detail about all the thinking behind this but there was a huge amount of thinking about like what what are the pro basically what are the problems um with music making tools that take you out of the creative flow that make you force you okay so so echolox is now um <laughs> okay, this is really meta. So e Echolox has now um, sampled me on the live stream. So, so I'm going to be equally meta, and I'm just going to I'm going to remix the, his remix, his resampling of me. So that was from the sampler option, um, or the microphone, or from microphone. Yeah. So so to come back um, to to the other tools. So we've covered drums. And notes and bass, and we've done some stuff with the effects. 
But with the microphone input here, you can sample. So here I'm sampling from the iPad. So I'm just leaning into the iPad microphone and sample something. Um, and I'll turn that up a bit. Lean into the iPad microphone and sample stuff. Just lean into the iPad microphone and sample stuff. Just lean into the iPad microphone. And they Echolox has remixed that now. Um, so. Um, so yeah, so with the microphone input, you can actually um, you can resample, uh, you can sample anything into there. You can also plug in a sound card. Um, so so you can actually, and a lot of our community um, actually, um, you know, plug in uh, plug in synths. They actually plug in like DAWs, like you know, plugging in Ableton because this has Ableton Link as well. So you can sync it up. Oh. Um, and then you, so you can pl like play in arpeggios and mm. um, all sorts of stuff like that. So actually, you know, if you if you're a hacker, and you can get really really deep into it, um, and that all goes in through the microphone input. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I'm assuming it is still stereo inverse mic. It is stereo in now. Yeah. Um, okay. So the mic, well, obviously, the, the the mic on the iPad and your iPhone is mono, um, mm -hmm. but if you plug in the sound card. You get stereo, and it'll work with. I'm assuming any sound card that would work with an iOS device. Yes, exactly. So it's class compliant is the words to look for um, when mm -hmm. you if you're researching a sound card that you can plug into this um, to any iOS device. Device it needs to be class compliant. I'm gonna jump into that endless jam, the point blank wicked. endless jam. I think Echo Locks is in there right now. Oh, wicked. Okay, cool. But, uh, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna see what I can do in there. Nice. Uh, okay. So if I press that one, I can create a new Oh, who's that? Who's that? Whose names begin with seven? Oh, 79 Taylor. Nice. Cool. How do you see how many people are in there? Uh, you can't at the moment. That, that's one of the features that we want to add there is uh, basically like presence indication. So we can see uh, who's online, how many people are actually, you know, how many people are watching, how many people are creating. But you can nice. see uh, when you tap on the riff that they've created, you can see who's done that. Yeah, example. you can see who's done it. And you can also look in the mixer. So we can see that um, 79 Taylor's uh, made one layer and um, Echolox has made five. Um, and you can also actually, you can also see uh, which um, preset they use as well, which is quite nice. Um, so I've so. got a question. Um, when mine says tap to loop, right? I don't have the four bars that you do. Uh, yes. Yeah, so if you go into um, settings, so on the mixer page, you've also got some settings at the top. Yes. Um, go into looper mode and hit advanced. Mm -hmm. Advanced. Gotcha. Yeah. That could, yeah. There we go. So I'm just kind awesome. of like layering up all this. So basically, I went. I, I saw the preset that Echolox used, and then I went in and. Um, just uh, uh, yeah, use the same preset so I could kind of you know layer up the same kind of sounds. I'm going to put some effects on that now. I, I really love zap delay. And when you go with effects, I'm going to try that now. Yeah, man, I can see myself using this for a while. <laughs> yeah, it gets he get really sucked into it. It's kind of dangerous. <laughs> Um, when you use the effects on it, it um, it only affects what you select at the bottom, right? So at the bottom, you've got your kind of layer selector, correct? Um, on, uh, when you go to your effects page, if you if yes. I, if basically if whatever whatever circled is whatever that it will affect. Exactly, yeah. And by default, when you go to the effects page, it automatically selects the last thing that was done, which is right, you, okay, cool. which is normally what you want. You know, you do something, and then you go to the effects, and you want to affect that thing. But you can select all of them. So I'll just I'll just do this now. This is actually it's very bad jamming et etiquette. The community hate it when people do this. Um, but when you select all the layers, um, and I can really just like oh, okay, echoes are breaking out. So I'm going to go back to a um, to something that has a bit more in it. Um, so what do you call that? The riff kind of circular waveform thing. Do you have a um, name for that? Well, we just we just kind of call them riffs. 
ribs. Okay, but the circular, the, the, the waveform has just gone all white. Yeah, um, so the white, um, when you see white waveforms, it means that the, those are waveforms, uh, those are risks where multiple layers have been, we call it smooshed. Uh, so okay. that is which is like bouncing, right? Basically, yeah, but it's called yeah. a smoosh. Um, cool. That's what the community, that's the kind of, the, the, the language that's been invented by the community. Um, oh, and if you guys, if you, if you, um, if you guys are all on Discord, make sure you join the Discord channel for, uh, for, yeah, for uh, Endless as well. I mean, if you want to be a part of the community, it, it is, it, this is, for like wholly a community effort, um, because that's the whole point behind this, this app. So yeah, if you guys want to join in, definitely go and check out the Discord channel. I mean, yeah, I have, I have to say, like the best part of Endless is the community, without a shadow of a doubt. I mean, you know, I, I've. I kind of said to a few people it's a bit um but you know like we we just made a door uh, and and the community have like gone through it and built a world um yeah. and it's it's really amazing like the the level of detail and like hacking that people go to with endless like trying to like get the best out of it so now and so Eclox is now um uh what's called tempo trolled this so he's taken the tempo and just like whacked up the tempo and sent a new riff for this new tempo so now everything i do is going to be at this uh new tempo this is sick what's what's the highest tempo you can go to uh well let's see i'm gonna uh, oh perfect I, I think i think we now we capped it at 999 but really you just, so yeah. you can you can go you can go up to like ultra speed core of this uh you can, oh yeah yeah like beyond speed core like intergalactic super core um and then the <laughs> effects start to behave really weirdly um um this is so crazy i don't even know if i could at this speed i could even give you an eight bar loop yeah <laughs> yeah so and then i mean you can get into real destruction zone wow. but what's really really cool is that i can get destruction zone i'm just like i know i didn't like that i'm going back to what we had before i'm going to go back to something normal so here we are, like immediately. We didn't have to do, we didn't have to do any save as, any duplicate, yeah. any anything like that. It's just, you know, we got you. Anything you've done here, you've got a track record of it. So, which is another thing that we spent ages thinking about. It's like, how can you encourage people to be experimental and like not worried about fucking stuff up basically? So it's like, it's kind of like a whole, it's a whole storage uh, feature So what's well. the, what's the, the, what's the uh, what are the advantages of going paid like is it like a subscription service or something or how does it work yeah so it's um so on the on the mobile app um right now it's you know it's, it's a first thing we're still kind of figuring out exactly you know what's valuable for people so it's our first shot at it um but it's so it's 4.49 a month um you get all the extra sound packs uh which we keep on adding to so we add a couple of sound packs every month there might be a drum pack or a bass pack or a notes pack um and you also get the 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 infinite stories so it's called infinite um, so if you go infinite, you basically get access to the complete history of everything. So it's kind of it's like a kind of like our iCloud kind of service as well. Yeah, I was just gonna say this like this whole riff thing kind of reminds me a lot of Instagram stories. Like, right. Yeah. It, but for music, it's like yeah. little clips of music that you yeah. can kind of go back and yeah, it's awesome. There's actually yeah. um, there's a brand new there's a brand new feature that um, we just shipped in the App Store. Uh, maybe th on Monday, I think. Mm -hmm. um, I'll just the quick diversion for that. I mean, it's because you were talking about Instagram. Um, we've now basically built our kind of very first version of a, of a feed. Right. Um, so you can now uh, you can now post riffs. So let's say, well, tell you what, I'll go into the Point Blank Jam, um, and uh, tell you what, I'll share this riff that Echolox made. Um, uh, point. I'll just call it point blank uh, jam and uh, I'll upload a photo. Actually, do I have any photos in my camera roll? I'll tell you what, I'll just use the... Uh... Just take a photo of your face right now. <laughs> um, well, I've actually I've used the, the, the social tile that we used for, for tonight's thing. Uh, right, so you can now see this in our, in our feed. That's my riff. So I'll go to latest. Uh -huh. um, and now, so my riff's there. Um, you know, I can like it. I just like my own right. riff. Is that weird? Um, it's like liking your own Instagram photo. It's, it's yeah. weird if you make it weird. But then this is something that was um, uploaded a couple of, oh, this is nice. Oh, this is, it's actually by another one of the um, Endless team. 
Um, so um, he actually made it on his modular, I think, or some of it. It's really cool because, I mean, it makes it, you know, like, like a proper social network where you can see, you know, so I can hear all the stuff that's been um, posted by people. I can like it. Um, and this is, you know, this is all the stuff that's being made. You know, this is all being made today on, on Endless. Wow. It's like I'm scrolling through an Instagram feed, but for riffs. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's Amazing. that's the that's that's the idea, and I think it's going to be, you know, as the community builds, um, as we pe you get more and more people kind of s getting more and more skills on on Endless, because you know, as, as you can hear, you know, it's like this riff in particular. I mean, this is this is fully legit. Um, you know, I could hear I could hear some like really amazing top lines over this, and uh, and and you know, on a big festival stage or something. So. And on top of that, I can see a button on the bottom right that says Remix. Yeah, 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 yes, yes, you can. So I can hit Remix, um, and I can take this riff into my solo jam um, and uh, make a complete mess of it <laughs> myself. Awesome. Can so you, um, I'm gonna can, put this... does the person that made the riff, can they have like a, do they get a copy of all these ones that people make? Or, um, that, or do they get I mean, notified? It, they, they don't get notifications yet. Um, we're working on that. Um, um, oh, this is this is this is already very very cool. Like this kind of feature. So I'm, I'm and I can see so many different ways that you guys are, are definitely going to expand on this. So, yeah, yeah, I mean it's super very, exciting. Very cool. Awesome. Well, I think that's all the time that we have today for this but that was an amazing run through of an amazing app everyone out there if you guys haven't downloaded it yet please go and check it out it's endless with three s's with three s's and, uh, go and grab that on the app store today it's free it's free <laughs> nice one thank, thank you very much no worries thanks thank you everyone invite. thanks for joining in we'll see you guys next time see you next time